At 9.52, the RCMP is inundated with 911 calls at the memorial. The war memorial is just across the street, a little to the east of Parliament Hill. This is all in a very small location. Um, and we've got to be very careful now showing the video of these, now that we know that Corporal Cirillo has died here, and I, and I appreciate how sensitive this is. Uh, this was right downtown, and, and we were there to see this. From this point on, let's go to the video now that we've obtained. Seconds after shooting Corporal Cirillo, the suspect has parked a car just behind the memorial, as you're seeing there. This is an eyewitness of this. The, this is Michael Zahav Bibo getting into the car seconds after that. He seems to have some kind of long coat and scarf on. He's a tall, thin man. You can see there. He goes there. Then the car is then. This is a picture of him that has just been released by police. He's got the kafia on. He's got um, a gun. We have no confirmation that he is connected yet to any group, but I can tell you right now, uh, all of us and the police are checking. Does he have a connection to any group? Uh, we got to be very careful here, but is he connected to any ISIS account now in the wake of the radicalized event Rosie was just speaking about on Monday where another member of the Canadian Armed Forces was killed by someone on the RCMP watch list with connections to radicalized jihadist groups who had his passport revoked? Is this the same with Michael Zihaf Bibo? This is the only picture we've got. Then he takes the car, this car here is a photo I took at about uh, just after 10, a couple of minutes later, police told me this is the suspect's car. It jibes with the um, uh, uh, video we've got here. Uh, he parks the car there and makes his way somehow um, up to center block. Uh, at center block, he makes his way into the front doors uh, and then a furious exchange of gunfire with RCMP and Parliament Hill staff, including the Sergeant at Arms, Kevin Vickers, takes place. And, and he obviously had a, an assault rifle here that's semi-automatic. Listen in. This furious exchange of gunfire. Everyone in Parliament Hill, tourists, MPs, and staffers take cover. They're still in lockdown right now in that exchange of gunfire. Michael Zihaf Bibo is shot dead. A member of the Parliament Hill security staff is wounded in the leg. Chaos ensues and a lockdown begins. Immediately, security protocol kicks in and Parliament Hill is locked down. We found out later that Corporal Nathan Cirillo died when he was shot by the suspect Michael Zihaf Bibo at the War Memorial. Uh, a lockdown that began at about 10 a.m. Eastern time and continues as we speak right now.